Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to sew a little girl's skirt based off their waist measurement and then the length you want the skirt. I'm also going to link down below the Welly Wisher tutorial which you see in this image. So let's get started. Here are the items you're going to need for this. First you're going to need a fabric of your choice, then a lining fabric. You're going to need a matching thread, a fabric pen, scissors or a rotary cutter, 3 4 inch elastic, a ruler, sewing machine or serger, and pins. Make sure that your fabric is pre-washed and dried. You're going to need two measurements to start with. First is the child's waist, wherever you want your skirt to hit. So for me, my child is going to have a 22 inch waist, and the second is the length from the skirt down to wherever you want it to hit, and mine is 16 inches. From there, you're going to want to add one extra inch to the waist measurement for a half inch seam allowance on both sides. And then you are also going to want to add two inches to the length to accommodate the elastic casing and also the hem. So this is the basic shape that you're going to be cutting out using your waist as your width and your length that you decided. And then you're going to cut two from your fabric, two from your lining. So you're going to have to make some measurements on your lining fabric. The first is up at the top, you're going to mark a line down from the top 1 and 1 fourth inches. Next you're going to cut off an inch from the bottom and this is just so when you finish the hem it's shorter than the actual skirt. Next you're going to sew together the side seams of your main fabric and your lining fabric with a half inch seam allowance. Pull your skirt right side out and then you're going to take your lining fabric still inside out and you're going to insert it inside your skirt. Now you're going to go and line up the side seams so that the main fabric and the lining match up on both sides. You're going to pin this and then you're going to go along and pin the rest. Now you're going to go to your sewing machine and sew these two layers together with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Now we're going to create our casing. So you're going to fold over the top one fourth and press and then fold over again along the line and press again and pin. Then go to your sewing machine and sew this down. Make sure you leave open a one and a half inch section so you're able to insert your elastic. Now you're going to take your 3 4 inch elastic and measure it. It's going to be the length of the waist measurement plus 1 inch. So for me, 22 inches plus 1 inch is 23 inches. You're going to cut it and then we're going to attach a safety pin. From there you're going to insert it into the opening we left, making sure that you keep the other edge outside of the elastic casing.
Once the elastic has been inserted, you're gonna overlap the two ends one and a half inches, and then you're going to sew that down with a zigzag stitch. Then close the opening where the elastic was inserted. Last step is to finish the hems. So to do this, you're gonna fold up the lining one fourth and then one half inch and sew down. You're going to do the same thing to your main fabric. Fold over one fourth, then one half inch and sew it down. So here is the finished skirt, along with the Welly Wisher skirt I made in my last tutorial. If you guys enjoy these kinds of tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, please go hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching guys. See you next time.